Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we are here in the coal, which we fixed at the end of the last episode. Yeah, we had a tiny problem with that and we still are having an issue here where the coal is being completely eaten by the boilers. It is slowing down quite a bit, so it will build up, but I would feel safer putting down a few more mining drills uh, on this area. So let's go ahead and do that. We have five of them. Whoops, there we go. It would help if I don't stand right on them. Um, all right, so we'll add these here. We're just going to join this in with this belt. Oopsies, too long a tiny bit. So let's see. And we'll also take out the coal from there. Oh, wow. It was only one piece of coal in there. Interesting. Um, we'll also take out all of this coal from here. And so that we can feed those little steel furnaces. I don't know how they're doing. Um, but I would like to go to the mall and go shopping and get some more mining drills. Uh, because I think we would be very, very happy to have some. Now then, we can also delete some of this array over here. In fact, we're going to work on science today. That is the plan for today. So let's just get these guys going off. There we go, nanobots. Thank you very much. And grab all this stuff, including the stuff on the ground. Little plates here left behind. And then we're going to get all of these labs. Now, I do not want to disconnect the miners and stuff. So we're just going to be very careful as we collect all of these things. Okay, great. So we left off on nanobot range one. And obviously, we don't have any more... Uh, science for that because we just picked it up. Oh, and here is the coal starting to come through and these furnaces will soon be online here, which is a great thing. Let's go ahead and see if we can uh, get some more of these furnaces down. Nanobots will help us with this. Uh, mostly we are lacking in copper for our green circuit array. So hopefully this will help that along just a tiny bit. I forgot if we had enough miners here to supply this or not. Let's see. Let's do control C and we can see 29. That's actually really close. Uh, remember we need 30 to fill a belt. So I'm thinking it's going to be pretty darn close. That's great. Um, the iron obviously is not a problem since it's backed up over here. Uh, let's see. We do have 24 assembling machines so we can get nanobots to help us there as well. Kind of fill out these green circuit machines and all the accoutrements needed. We are lacking in, let's see, long-handed inserters. So we'll go ahead and make a few of those while we're here. Oops, and we ran out of uh, regular inserters. Thank you, nanobots. We appreciate your help. Hooray. All right, they are helping us. And we're going to get more green circuits made. Again, a lot of this is dependent on the copper line. Now, I didn't calculate how many machines the copper line will feed. Uh, it's not really that important because we're just going to keep expanding this just a tiny bit till we get more and more of these green circuits. But hey, oh, I'm out of nanobots. I was like, why didn't they place that belt? Hmm. Yeah, they can't place it if they're not existing. So let's go and grab some more. And here are the furnaces that I would like to feed. There we go. And pull out the steel. We should probably make a steel array soon. Look at this. 200 stacks, uh, 200 uh, nanobot pieces. Gosh, what are they called? Capsules. There we go. Uh, all right. And we need some, let's get some belts. And now we're going to go shopping in the mall. Okay. So what's going on here? Why do we not have... Okay, we are finally getting some of this. I wonder if we were missing that red inserter and that's why the whole thing was stopped. In any case, I do want to grab those fast inserters and the regular inserters as well. We can get some of these too. And we are getting a very full inventory here, which is kind of nice. Uh, well, sort of nice. Sort of kind of nice. But one thing that I really want to get is we've got to get all these trees out of here. Uh, too much nature, and then get these mining drills started as something that we're creating. Uh, also, these guys are important, the assembly machines. So I'm going to go ahead and handcraft some assembly machines so that we can get more stuff going on. Now, I am going to go ahead, as much as I love the, you know, the enchanted forest look over here, I think we're going to take away the nature so that you can see what's going on a little bit better in this playthrough. I think it would be more helpful. Um, now there's a lot of machines you'll notice without recipes and that's because we haven't discovered them yet. We literally don't have the tech for them. So these, what's going to happen is, and this is one thing that I really wish would change in Factorio is that they don't show what 
they're going to be like they're not reserved for a um a recipe um because of the blueprint what we need to do is we need to re-grab that blueprint just go back to our blueprint library and then grab it and then we place it again so we just line it up here there we go yeah there we go where it's all purple and then press shift click and it will place the whoopsies it'll place the recipes that we that we just recently discovered if there are any so i'm going to go ahead and leave the rest of this unconstructed since it's not really that useful um, we can construct a few of these things we've got some tools going on here that will help us with repairs in respect to biters oh but we don't have any assembly machines that's not good um let's see what are you needing you're needing gears do we have a gear maker okay we only have one gear maker happening and Unfortunately, it looks like our iron is really struggling here. What's the deal with this? I think a lot of it is going into steel, some of it to nanobots, and then belts again. So um, one of the things I planned in this mall design is to actually have dedicated belts just for the mall so that they keep on producing. But um, we might have to, I'm thinking about, yeah, we probably should get this line hooked up as well. This is another iron line. Oopsies, we're out of... Oh, let's go and get some. Let's just go shopping. We're right here. We don't need to handcraft these things. There's 50 in a box. No guessing. We just place them down. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of these stacks there. Maybe not the whole thing. All right. And then split off again here for this section. There we go. Very nice. And that'll give these guys a little bit of iron to make gears and stuff and things. And hopefully these gears are going to go toward these assembling machines. It doesn't look like it right now, but so maybe we should just make some on our own. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, fantastic. I could have, what I should have done instead is just grab these gears over here. But I'm going to leave those assembly machines because we're going to need them for science because that's what I want to make next. Now here our little military plant is going pretty well. We have, let's see... 306 rounds, uh, not rounds, but magazines of bullets here or of ammo. And then we have 27 gun turrets. Now we do have our little blueprint for red signs and I want to place that down. So let's see, we can probably line it up with this assembler ish, like here, leave a little bit of room in case we need it. Okay. And then our bots are going to help us construct this. Yeah, in future, I need to remember that I do not need to um, construct science before I have green ships because that's kind of pointless. There we go. So uh, for this, we need iron coming in from the bus. So let's go and just take this and iron. Okay, very nice. And then we're going to need copper. And remember, copper has to go on the top side of the belt. We're going to do exactly the same thing as we did down here. We can actually copy this nice little construction because I kind of like it. looks great. All right, nanobots. There we go. Accidentally pressed tab. Okay. And those are going there. Fantastic. And let's go ahead and grab the... need a few more actually of those things oh we may have to start making more iron <laughs> we are really really running out of iron now let's go and grab some from here we have an iron hungry base as always now let me look at the map real quick and see the pollution pollution is i think it's getting closer especially to this base down here we may have to do something about that but i really want green science first really want that green science and we have scanned up here here's our upper biter base um yeah we have a full factory of stuff going on now so we have to be kind of careful just a tiny bit careful okay so the next thing we have is we want to make green science and i typically bank that on the exact opposite side of red science so these guys we're going to have greens here. Maybe I should just make them all in one line. That would work, actually, if I did that. Uh, so we have a couple of things here. Green science is made with transport belts 
and inserters. And we're going to need, um, I believe, two gear makers. Let's see, we're going to have one for transport belts here. So we're going to need transport belts and then a gear maker. Let's see, get this one and then this one's going to go like that. And then another gear maker. And that one's going to go into inserter land. And the way I want to do this is completely different than this. Ha! Okay, copy this one to there and then have this be gears. There we go. And this one is going to be three spaces away from there. Whoopsies, don't do that thing. Do what I want you to do. Come on. There we go. And you're going to be inserters. And there's a particular reason I am setting it up like this, and which I'm going to talk about very shortly. And that is to have these guys inserting onto the opposite sides of the belt. So that can go ahead and get to our green circuits. So let's copy this over there. And this is going to need plates and green circuits. So this belt, um, I would really like, let's see, what we're going to do is this. We're going to do something like this. Now you can use the undergroundies uh, longer if you want. Just be aware of that. You can make them so that you're, you know, using less belts. I'm just doing it kind of for clarity here. Um, let's see, let's take this one here and there. So what's happening here is we're going to get iron on this belt and green circuits. So let's get the iron happening. There we go. Put that there. Now this one's going to go here. This one here. So let's go ahead and take these little guys like that. All right. And go like this. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to have half uh, green circuits, half plates. And we need to just designate these as to which get what. Remove that. All right. And then the rest are going to be green science. Now, green science takes um, six seconds to craft. We want two per second. So we're going to make 12 of these. So let's just make two for now. And just kind of copy the inserter thingy-majingies. See, actually, we can copy the power poles as well. Well, we can copy the the whole thing. No, 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 we can't. No, no, hold on. Don't get too far ahead of yourself, KOS. Okay, there you go. Uh, all right, this is going to be green science instead of red. Okay, copy and paste. Remember, control right click or shift right click to copy, sh uh, shift left click to paste, and then we're going to just take this belt along this way. Okay, so um, oh, those are the wrong way. Goodness. I need to turn them around because apparently they were going the wrong way. No, <laughs> that's why they didn't even grab those inserters. So let's just copy. Um, I'm going to take this power pole out. We may need to get more power pole. We will need to get more power poles on this side. That's already a fact. Let's see. That's six. If we do that. Okay. And then we'll copy again six. And that will give us our 12. Now I'm choosing to make a longer array instead of a squatter array because sometimes I put this stuff kind of on the side. So these are more in line with the red circuits, but I don't think that's really necessary. So we're just not going to do that. Okay. And those go there. Fantastic. So these guys will start grabbing stuff off of there. Uh, what are we missing here? Gears? Oh, wrong way. Okay. That's good. It's always good to test stuff as you're looking at it. And we are getting all of those inserters and the belts. Oh my God, we're going to get green, green science soon. Hooray. So uh, where's the science going? Let's take it over here this way. Actually, let's take it. We'll just go up from here. Go there. And I think we're going to make a nice little simple, simple science belt here. Uh, I think I know what science array we're going to use because I love it to bits. Um, but here is what we have. We're just going to do things very simply because we don't have the belts for belt braiding or anything like that. And these guys just need uh, regular inserters. They go very slowly. The, um, the research is done very slowly. So no need to make fast inserters because they're expensive. Oh, dear. <laughs> we missed a couple of green science at the end. It'll be fine, though. It'll be fine. So 
Now, even though these are... Do, wait, do we need nanobot range? Is that a green one? No, it's just red. But um, these will load some green. Uh, but the green is not getting used. As you can see, the red bar is going down, but the green is staying up. They just like to sometimes preload so that the labs have it ready for when we get the next science. So, all right. Excellent. But what we do need to do, we definitely need more iron. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick up this uh, ammo and turrets. Um, these gun turrets, let's see. Are they all bad? Oh, yeah. Okay. So if we put them down, our nanobots can heal them. There we go. So those are those are healed turrets. That sounds funny. <laughs> also, uh, we would like to make... I think I'm actually going to make a recycling system right now. Because we have the ability to do so. So we might as well. So it's going to be low tech to start out with. But we're going to have a... This is going to be red uh, science packs. And this is going to be green. Oh wait, well... We don't have any green, but this will be the foundation, shall we say, of our recycling system. So that way we can um, put stuff on the belt here. I guess I should do, I'll do it a different way. Uh, what we should do is get splitters and split them in properly. Actually, you know what? We should do that. Let's just do that. Let's do it properly. We like properness. So we're going to do this and have a belt here. And later, this is all going to be requester chests. Okay, so let's see. Red science goes on the bottom side. So we'll put the red here. Let's get ourselves a power pole. Remove that one. We don't need it. And this thing, we're going to have to say that we want an input priority from the left. So in case this becomes overcrowded and this gets backed up, which it might do if we actually get more iron, um, it will favor the ones from the recycling chest. Now we could do with some more labs, I think. Uh, is the mall making those yet? Maybe. Let's go check. Let's go look. I'm kind of worried about the, the lack of iron is like, oh God, we don't have enough. Definitely not enough iron. Okay, so this is missing belts. Why are you missing belts? Because you're missing plates. Ah, because there's no splitter. Ooh, all right. Well, let's let that get going for a bit. And we need to fix the iron issue. Do we have enough iron? We do down here. We could get this by train if we had a train. We might have to start researching trains. Um, there's a bit more here as well. We could put in another iron um, furnace operation. Sounds great. Let's see. We want to get some more inserters. So we'll pick these guys up. Wondering if I should let this, let's take it to 200 instead, because we're still making furnace arrays and stuff, uh, and we could use a few more of those. Excellent, excellent, excellent. How is power doing? Let's go and look at our power. Uh, hello. These guys are at about 75%. All right, so the furnaces do not use much power because the only power they're using is the inserters. Uh, oh, we can go down here get these guys happily completed hello hello stuff we got stuff for you isn't this great yay <laughs> nice all right we're lacking just one assembly machine at the back there but it looks like these are actually backing up hey we got green circuits now this is fancy fancy fantastic woohoo all right uh it looks like we're lacking a tiny bit on the iron coming in here it's uh it seems like we're one minor or something too short maybe two so let's copy. Um, all right, we need to get a better underground estate right over here. This one needs to go here. And then that one. Yeah, that's fine over there, actually. Sure, why not? All right, copy this thing. And then place it where we had stuff. Okay, we want to remove these power poles because that's going to interfere, I think. All right, then place it down. Good deal. Important to get those power poles going. I want to check one thing in the mall. Do we have power poles? Uh, I think we don't have wooden power poles. I think it's just going to be the um, 
steel ones. All right. Oh my god, out of belts. No, we need them all again. Darn it. We should pick up some extra furnaces as well. I think that would help us. All right, that science done. We're going to get nanobot speed one next. See, and here I was trying to be frugal and uh, have less, use less of the belts or like try to save the factory some resources, but that is not, not obviously a good strategy. Not at the moment anyway. Oh, oh, that's not what I wanted. No. Let's get the stone out of here. Or stone bricks, I should say. These guys are doing okay, but I think a lot of them are... Yeah, these are really hard to see the red light on. It is a big pain. At night is probably better. They're kind of more shiny. But during the day, they're just really difficult to see. There's just a lot going on visually here. So yeah, we're definitely short on iron in this area for that... Uh, thingy ma jingy. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Barely got through. Barely got through. Alrighty. How do we want to handle this? Looks like these guys are also... Wait, is that... That's yellow. Okay. Looks like we're lacking on the right-hand side a lot. Hmm. Nope. And no belts anymore. No, the sadness is real. Okay, let's go get belts. See, here I'm thinking I can survive without them. But no, the belts are the life of the factory. Oh god, this needs to stop immediately. <laughs> 1,800 rounds. Wow, that's a lot. Oof, that's a lot. Okay, let's go ahead and make this longer. Take that down. Oh, no, no, no. That's not, I wanted the tree, not the thing. Not the sidewalk. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's fine. Now we can walk faster. I almost feel like having a belt box up here. You know I could make one, I guess. It might be fun. How are we doing on nanobots? Do we have... Extras? No, I don't think so. Nope, we don't have extras, so I'll just get some extras. Grab more of these belts. Actually, I'll take all of them. These are the side boxes that are feeding the splitters and stuff. That's fine to take those as well, so we have 600. Go, and going back down. I'm quite happy with the green circuits. This is really going very nicely. And now we're getting the... Uh, stuff at a speed that we need. This is a good. Very good. Okay, let's take this out here. Oh, nature. Too much nature. Let's get rid of this nature here. What I could do, another thing I can do is take some of these. Oh gosh, am I out of mining drills? Oh, I forgot to buy mining drills in the mall. Um, let's see. We can get these and go take them around like this. Nope. There? Okay, there. That works. Let's see. If these go this way, what side are they going to be on? No, they're going to be on the wrong side. But that's okay. We can make them go on the other side. Alright. Oops. We need to turn a little bit sooner there. Like that. There we go. That's what we wanted. Put that one there. And then this one can move down. And then this one... That, that one's actually fine, I think. Alright. Nice. Very nice. So that'll add a few to that side of stuff. I think that should make it more balanced. I'm not sure if I should drag it. Maybe I should just drag it all the way over there and put it there instead. Because that's really where we're lacking. Not so much here. Because this is a much fuller belt. You know what? We'll take it over. Let's take it over to the other side. Because it might make a tiny bit of difference. Nope, nope, nope. Not there. 
There, there, that works. Yay. And all right, nanobots. Ay, that sound. Help. Save us from the sound. All right, I think I'm going to clear this because maybe I'll just make a second. Oh, no, I had to turn it. Okay, so we'll make this one for nature. No, I wanted this one for nothing. Hello? Can I have two different... <laughs> Jeez. Game, please. All right. Let's go here. Yeah, that was my fault. I, I realized what I did. I put the same icon in both. Instead of... I thought it was going to give me two different ones, but it's actually only one different one. So that's okay. No worries. And this needs to be extended there. Okay, very nice. Okay, now then. We may have to do a a different belt for here than a second one for this side. And that's just fine. It's just the way it's going to come about. Uh, Alright, so let's take a belt up here. And I guess we can just do it here. Why not? So that's going to go this way. Our new belt. But I do need miners. Man. One of the things that I did in an earlier playthrough is I went and I made a train line along the side of things. And this particular bus is really long because we have this lake in the middle, which kind of prevented me from building. So I'm I'm actually wondering if I should have some kind of a vehicle to go up and down like this. All right, 149 mining drills. Gosh, that's a lot. <laughs> I'm going to drop off these uh, bullets in here as well. Let's see. I don't quite need that many on me at once. It's okay. Okay, let's see. Drop that one and then this one. Go ahead. There we go. And um, let's see if they have any labs. Oh, they do have some labs for us. Nice. That way we'll get our stuff processed sooner. We can start getting to green science sooner. All right taking all these going on let's go get some labs going on we need them all right very good okay so let's just copy the entire thing over and I'll go ahead and shorten that belt at the end so that we can use every single science pack I would like to get rid of some of this ore, though. We definitely don't need that. All right, so we do have a few burner mining drills. We can probably put that in a dump chest. I'm going to put that over here, I think. Just random junk that we don't need. Put the pistol in there and put the burner miners. I'm going to save the ore because we can put those back in the machines. So what else have we got? We've got some iron sticks. That's not really useful to us at all. Okay, our tech is finished. Hooray. So what do we got? We got engines, we got circuit networks, advanced material processing, landfill, automation two. That's what we're going to get first. That will give us the assembly machine two, which runs at a faster speed. Uh, we also have the tool belt, which expands our inventory. That's definitely worth it. Uh, electric energy distribution one. Um, that might be ahead of the tool belt, I think. Um, and what that gives us is we get the long distance power poles, which are called big electric poles. And then we get the medium ones, which have a greater AOE than the small wooden ones. Okay. Um, nano explosives. Uh, people were kind enough to tell me that the nano explosives use, use the cliff explosives. So we can actually get that. Maybe they don't use them otherwise. I'm not quite sure. Uh, logistics two is going to give us a red belt. I'm excited about that, but I want to get projectile damage. That's important. Um, these are obviously cumulative bonuses. So they give us an extra 10%. Um, and I also want to get military science because I want to look for, let's look for ammo. Do we have armor piercing ammo here somewhere? Uranium ammo? No. Hello? Give us the thing. Uh, I'm not sure where it is, actually. Maybe it's in military something science. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. Okay, it's in military too. We get piercing rounds, um, but we're going to need steel for that. So let's go ahead and start this research on that because AP ammo is really, really good for us. 
It's much stronger than regular rounds, so we'll definitely notice the difference. All right, while we're going, let's take this other belt up the bus. Jeez, I just hope I got everything. <laughs> Whoops. All right, this needs to move here. Okay, there. Okay, good, good. Okay. This one goes that way. All right. Boom. Nice. So now this thing is a bit too long. So let's move this to be in range. Get the coal flowing in there. And now it's time to get some of the ore flowing into there as well. Now we got 150 mining drills. That's quite a lot actually. So let's see what we can do here. This is going to be... How many is this? Alright, we have this stack here plus a few on the left. That's 42 plus 4. That gives us 46. Okay, let's get some more here. I feel like I'm definitely running out of stuff here okay that's fine we can do that okay and meanwhile back at the ranch um yeah we definitely need to fill up this belt so let's take this belt oh 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 nature oh help help too much nature there we go Let's murder nature now. Yay. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Go up. There we go. All right. And then basically we are going to... Is that going to fill this up? Let's go... You know what we should do? We should take that off, actually. We should put this up here and say this. We want to do this kind of thing. Exactly there. And then this one can go to that side if there's extra. So this should fill up both of these belts and any extra is going to go over uh, to this section there. But this is definitely not enough um, to fill that. Even though we don't need a full belt for this because as we were talking about, the full belt is copper and that is the, the ingredient we need most in green circuit. So it's not terribly important that we get a full belt. But I'm thinking we might just... We might just grab these guys and then do a little bit more like this kind of thing. Just add those in. Okay, there we are. Nice. Now then. Let's see. Get that off. I think we can combine this here. Because there's nowhere near 30 on the one belt anyway. Uh, alternatively, we could put it up into there as well. But I think this is going to be enough. I think that's going to work. Uh, this is still backed up anyway, so I think that's looking good. Oh, I'm happy about this. Look at this. This is fantastic. There's some gaps here, and I'm not sure why that is. Is it just not enough? Maybe we need to do a, a second one and just say output priority right. Just do this and... That should fill it in, maybe? From this belt, we should get some more. Yeah, that's looking cleaner now. Much better. These tiny iron belts. It's like, ugh. Sadness is real. We'll just put some more. Actually, I'll just finish off this entire line here. Okay, good. Makes me think I should maybe put another turret down here because this much of this area is unprotected. Oops, no, that's not what I wanted. Go. Okay, let's go here. Two, three. Okay, good. 
Oh, we have a couple more. They are easier to see at night. So this one is done. That one's done. Any more reds? There's one down there. Definitely good to not put lights in your mining patches. Yeah, from far away, it's difficult to see at all. That's not ideal for sure. Do you have any coal? We do have a tiny bit of coal. That's good. All right. Let's go and put some coal into these brick makers and grab any bricks that they might have made. Yay. More furnaces. Oh, oh, help. Trees. Too many trees. Yeah, I, I wish for squeak through. <laughs> it's so useful for, uh, yeah, for kind of avoiding nature. Anyway, let's go get this, um, this stuff down. Oh, 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 oh. Let's put in these bits of ore here and bits of stone goes into the other area. We do need to make a stone bricks away. Let's go ahead and use the to-do list here. Let's add new. Okay. Add, let's say stone bricks. Okay. Save. And then we want to do steel. Those are the two major arrays that we need to take care of. All right. So let's I want to um, look at this. Just just as we are done with the iron, we no longer need it. Isn't this amusing? I was like, uh-huh. Oh, we need it here, though. Look at this. This is what's eating a lot of iron because this is kind of new, this section. So I think what I want to do here is put a splitter right between those two. And this is going to be output priority right. Basically shove everything to the right that you can. And then that should leave more for both belts. Put another one here. Output priority right. And if there's any left, could probably do another one maybe here. You don't have to do it every single split off. Uh, okay, so here we go. Here's we got some of these things. This should be a lot more iron coming through here. Yep, we see much more going on that belt. And then more coming in here as well. So we're going to get a lot more science production with this. All right, that's perfect. This is looking really great. Let's go ahead and extend our path as well. Oh, no, 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 no. Help. I'm really happy, though, that this is very fast to erase. That's nice. But let's... Oh. It was the belts that did it. The belts did it. They did it. All right, cool. Very nice. Just kind of like moving it over where we might have gone over. All right, look at this. This is fantastic. Yay. And now the next section here is going to be reserved for military science and also for our, um, our chemical science. Blue science. That's really exciting. So we got... Did we get the other thing that I wanted, which I kind of... Oh, yes. Assembling machine two. Okay, so here's an example of how the mall works. When you get a new recipe, the assembling machine two is right over here. But anytime in general you discover something new, all you got to do, again, is go into your blueprint and repaste it down, shift click it, and boom, it's here. So now we're going to be making these and uh, the mall knows what to do. It's really fantastic. So, all right. I think we have accomplished quite a lot in this episode. Um, I really appreciate you being here. If you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to be informed of new videos. It is very, very much appreciated and helps me out a great deal. Remember to check out my KOS and Factorio merch and make your way to our Discord server to chat about the game, share ideas, and play on our community server. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.